Hey guys, and today we're gonna be unboxing and installing the Tenda 5 port gigabit Ethernet cable switch to PLDT Wi Fi model number SG105. So let's start off with a really nice box here, nice package box. And as far as I can see, it there is no 24 hour technical support written, no warranty, and all text all around it is written in Chinese. And there's the QR code there also. I'm just not sure when we scan it, it's also in Chinese. So, really bad. This is really frustrating. But let's go to the package content. What is inside this box? And here are the package content. At first, I was looking for an installation guide, but I found none. What I found instead is just a piece of paper all written in Chinese. No diagram, no technical support for me. And at least we have a nice power adapter. And last but not the least is the switch itself. This is the smallest switch I've found online. So what we've got here, I can see there are five ports over here. On the side is where we plug the power supply in. It's over here and this is the ventilation for you and another ventilation and right over here there is just nothing so it's pretty simple so we remove this plastic we're not gonna need this and over here you will see light indicators for the power and the one two three four five for the ports for you to be able to know what's going on on the device and then at the bottom we have a desk mount option so these are the mounting option. You can either rest it on the table like this or mount it on the wall like this. Now let's power it on and try it out. Switch is now powered and as you can see the power light is on. Light is green. And to begin the setup I start up with this cable over here. This is the LAN cable which I line up from the PLDT Wi-Fi modem. That right there. And since I found no instructions on how to set this one up, what I will do is plug this to the LAN port number one of the switch. Much like using the number one port as the one port in most routers so that's number one the source is the PLDT modem and let's get this LAN cable from our computer and insert this to the port number two the port number two three four five will serve as an output source to the computer well, this seems to me like I'm playing a guessing game, but let's try if this works. And this another cable is from my computer. Plug it into the port number three. Okay, it seems like lights are blinking. There's just, oh, light number two is not blinking. I have to fix that first as you can see this is for the port number two still shows a red X on it which means not connected now it's gone so we fixed that a little bit okay now all lights are green lights are blinking good now time for some test by removing and plugging back in those cables Looking at that, there is no red X on that icon. And if we remove this cable, the port number two, the red X appears. That right there. Then plugging this back in. And back here still has a red X on it. Okay, it will take some time though. Okay.
Now it's gone. That means that's a successful setup. Now time for a speed test. We are in this commonly used website for speed test. Speedtest.net Starting off with ping. Ping is 4. The lower the better. And 4 is just really good. Proceeding with download. Okay, download is 2352. It's looking great. Next, waiting for upload. Upload speed. 5131 Mbps. This is really great. My plan is 1699 in PLDT, which is 15 Mbps. I must say, my internet works just fine. And all these computers are connected via that switch over there.